Very well, Jonas from At the Gates. Uh, it's your first time at Marlon Death Fest. Yep. How's it? How was, how was playing last night? Yeah, I mean, we were actually surprised. It was a good festival. Yeah. Yeah. We thought it was going to be like punk and, you know, <laughs> badly organized, but it was good. Yeah. Really good organization. And, uh, nice. Yeah. Let's we had a good time. It's good to hear. Yeah, good crowd. Yeah, yeah the crowd yesterday yeah. was amazing. As was your performance. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, how would you compare it to uh, European festivals? Uh, less people. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, smaller, but uh, kind of cozy. Yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's a good environment. You know, playing in like a suburb area or something, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a cool setting. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, industrial and, feeling. <laughs> yeah, and especially like the whole like the, there's you're playing in the parking lot right next to the highway. I yeah, must I mean, felt weird. Yeah, I mean that was part of the thing, you know. It's a good yeah. thing. All right, cool. cool. And yeah, I mean, did you notice like any uh, difference between the European metal scene and the American metal scene? I mean, they're all into metal. Yeah, you know? maybe different bands, but I mean, that's not. A, it's not a huge difference between the continents at all. all right. you know, I mean, people are people and they're, they're into the same kind of music. You know? yeah. People are people, I like that. <laughs> it's like the Depeche Mode song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, not, so, not so metal. No. <laughs> um, so you're recording uh, War With Reality, the new At The Gates album, the yeah. comeback album. Um, how's that coming? How's that going? Uh, we have the final rehearsal next uh, weekend and we're entering the studio on June 23rd mm -hmm. and we're going to be in the studio for five weeks Okay, all right. and uh, the release date is going to be late October I think, maybe first week of November. Okay, yeah. all right. So you're still sticking to the initial October, yeah. November? Yeah, okay. nothing has changed because we had uh, the whole record was done in February, so mm -hmm. just uh, tweaking the last parts. Nice. Perfecting it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and are you are you under any like pressure, stress? Because I mean, it it is the At the Gates Return album. You're probably you know there's a lot of expectations. Yeah, I mean people's expectations. We're probably gonna yeah we we do our own thing, you know. And if people like it, that's fine. You know? We can't uh, we can't please everybody. That's, that's impossible, true. you know. After 19 years, so we do our best. It's gonna be a good mix of the last three. So right. I think people will be happy. That sounds awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And um, at war with reality, is there a meaning behind the title? Is there like a, are, is there a concept to the lyrics to the yeah, whole album? There is a concept, but uh, I'm not really the guy to answer okay. that. Uh, Thomas uh, uh, based the whole album on uh, like it's like a South American poetry and writers about uh, yeah, it's, it's like uh, the mystical and, and uh, I mean the different kind of realities we all experience. And uh, I mean, you have to. Maybe you can have a few words with him later about the lyrical content. All right. But it has a. It's like a concept album. All right. Yeah. That sounds. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Um, and you're releasing it on Century Media. Yeah. Uh, you've changed labels from ERA to Century Media. Oh, is there a reason or? Yeah, but we weren't on uh, ERA anymore because okay. we did uh, two records with The Haunted straight after oh, right. and then our deal was done. Okay. So, yeah. so The Haunted went to Century Media and oh, okay. At The Gates picked on, up on that. So, All right. yeah. Yeah. so we just picked up on the yeah, we could choose. We, we could, yeah, we were free to choose whatever. But okay. uh, we're good friends with Central Media and we yeah. worked with them for yeah. quite a while now. So. Yeah, they're an awesome label. It's an easy choice. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, after this, like um, after the, the release, you're going to be touring Europe with uh, Tripticon yeah. and Morbus Morbus Cron in December. Um, are, are you going to include incorporate any new stuff into the set list, to the live set list? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a mix of everything. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're not going to maybe play the whole new record, but like four or five songs at least. All right. Yeah. Sounds awesome. And and as, of course the old stuff, you know. Um, yeah, and I want to ask you like more of a kind of a history question, since At the Gates is an important metal, uh, important band to the history of metal scene, of metal, and is the metal scene, do you, in your opinion, is the metal scene dominated by uh, Western bands and uh, labels and media in general? I mean, is there more of a focus towards you know the Western side? I mean, are we we have only a few. 
other than a few Polish bands, we don't really, or Eastern European bands like yeah, Masters, I mean, Masters I mean, Hammer, we don't, yeah. yeah. They have a real hard, uh, they have a hard time to get uh, the name out there, I, can, I guess. Yeah. But uh, there are some good bands, you know, in South America and uh, Eastern yeah. Europe. But, uh, I mean, they have a hard time to find uh, labels. I don't know why, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, but especially in the, like Eastern Europe, I think we we don't realize that how hard it was during communist times, especially if you look like at Vader. Uh, Vader. Yeah, like uh, Romania and uh, yeah. Bulgaria, maybe yeah. Hungary. Yes. So you think that was... Yeah, but you, I mean, there were bands in the past, you know, big bands, like... Uh, Pokelgip and stuff like that. Aria in Russia. Pokelgip in okay. Hungary and Aria in Russia. Yeah. I mean, in the heavy metal scene, there you have big bands. But yeah. when the death metal movement came, you know, yeah. it, it yeah. kind of picked up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And um, yeah. And over the years, as as you with At the Gates and The Haunted, I mean, how did you see the scene, the metal scene, progress or change over the years? Yeah, I mean, it became more professional. Some yeah. bands come and some go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's always like a new, it's a new sub-genre every year, you know, like right. the gent stuff or math core or whatever. You know, so. But you guys stick to Basically. old school death metal. Yeah, I mean, like, we stick to our guns, I guess. Right. Yeah, we we're, we're not inspired by new metal music, if you yeah put it that way. So yeah, we have our own influences on that. So you, uh, don't, you don't look on for music to no, I'm listening more to like 70s stuff and 80s stuff, progressive stuff and maybe jazz, classical. That's our main inspiration. So. One last question then. Um, what do you think of American beer? <laughs> it's good. I mean, here in Baltimore you have good, uh, great yeah. craft beers, you know. I mean, we don't drink the Miller Lights anyway, so. All right. That's good you to have know. A, a lot of lo local breweries here on the East Coast, so I mean, you have great beer. You know? right. The craft beer here in America is great, so that's nothing good. wrong with that. Yeah, all right, that's good to know because the majority of people just hate it. Now we have, uh, I mean, we have uh, like uh, beer. Uh, I like uh, craft uh, beer bars mm -hmm. in Sweden, and they import beer from the U.S. All right, yeah, all right. So we get beer from all over, but uh, American beer are pretty right. popular. It's really sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview, yeah. uh, Jonas, at the gate. Thank Cheers, you, man.